What's up YouTube and welcome back to Homebrew Subaru. In this episode we're going to go for the first auto vlog in the Impreza RS. What's up everyone? So yes, we're going to be going for a little drive today. Uh, I've been really busy and, and haven't had much time to spend in the garage. Uh, I've been, I changed a bunch of wheels and rims. So the steel rims and winter tires that I got with this car are really good. Like they're almost brand new winter tires. So I, I dismounted those off the steel rims and mounted some junk tires onto them so that they can go onto the wagon. And when the wagon goes to scrap, it'll have scrap rims and tires on it. The Legacy B4 rims that I had on the Legacy, or on the Impreza, sorry, the wagon, are now on this car. So we'll have a look at those at kind of more at the end of this episode. I'll take a bunch of pictures. Um, but yeah, we're just going to go for a drive. I've got something cool to show you with the uh, head unit. I haven't really even had a lot of time to play with it. Uh, I did get some apps installed and um, I've been trying to get it to connect to the OBD2. Uh, I have a Bluetooth adapter and a Wi-Fi adapter. I can't get the thing to connect. So I've got to play some more with that. Um, but I do have something else that's kind of neat that I, you know, I just tried and it ended up working. And so uh, I'll show you that a little bit later. Uh, maybe even as the sun goes down a little bit and it gets a little darker so we can see the screen a little better. But first, I think we're, we're just going to take a drive through town. Uh, as you can see, like, it's still pretty busy in town. We're actually parked in the uh, recreation center's parking lot, and you can see it's empty because the center's closed, the park's closed, uh, so I thought it would be a good spot to set up anyway. But we'll start out and drive over. Uh, I was thinking of actually giving the car a wash because it's got dust all over it, even though I washed it a couple days ago. Uh, but I may not actually stop for the wash, I'll just drive, could do a quick drive through town, and then maybe we'll boot down the highway for a little bit. So yeah, coronavirus, COVID-19, I don't know how uh, everyone's been making out, uh, obviously it's changed the world around us, and uh, here in Canada we've been doing quite well, uh, it seems like a bunch of recoveries are starting to come through, and uh, it's nice to see that actually, that we're starting to flatten the curve a little bit even though they think that the the peak is still about to come and I expect that's more for you know the bigger cities like this is a really small place and the bigger bigger cities are obviously going to have an issue uh, much like New York City so I have been going to work every day and uh, kind of our our business is still considered somewhat essential so uh, we've been open for the most part uh, we've been sticking to the rules and guidelines, uh, putting people's keys into Ziploc bags and whatnot. Um, so it's it's definitely uh, different at work. It's slowed down a bit, but it's kind of the slow time of the year. It's right at this point where people are wanting to get tires and stuff changed over. Uh, although I don't have to do that, I still kind of got to be there to do other things. But yeah, it's been an absolutely gorgeous day here today. Uh, I just kind of needed to at least get outside for a while. Um, I've been doing a bunch of stuff in the yard, so uh, there's a tree in the front of my yard that pretty much start to uproot over the winter. And I've at least got all the limbs cut off of it. I kind of just need to cut the thing down now and chop it up. I uh, cleaned up the front of my house a whole lot. And that aside from doing tires and uh, a few things inside the house, uh, I've still been busy because I have been working. Uh, haven't had a lot of spare time like a, like a lot of people have. But yeah, it looks like even uh, some of the restaurants are starting to open up in town. 
Like, it seemed like there was quite a few open signs from what I could see. And I know that uh, we've started taking more work in at work as well. Um, it looks like the bottle exchange is open. So um, that's a definite good place to start transmitting COVID-19. This guy coming right down the street. Yeah, this is the place I live in. Actually, let's head down this way. I've never really... Uh, I don't think I've ever cruised down this way doing an auto vlog. So yeah, I got completely over what I was, whatever I was sick with. Um, it, it was strange because it started hitting me harder, more towards the end, and uh, you know, started to really congest me. And the, the amount of congestion that was coming out of me was crazy. But uh, finally got over that. And, now the weather's been really nice. Uh, it's been nice for quite a while, actually. The uh, We haven't had much rain, even though it rains here all the time. We haven't had much rain lately. And we kind of need it at this point because uh, the street sweeper's gone through and picked up a lot of the stuff on the street. But it's just made the whole place into a dust bowl. And uh, like I said, I washed the car. It's already covered in dust. Um, you know, even... I mean, you can see the dust just swirling from the wind. I've tried to wipe down the interior of the car. I just expect it to show the dirt really quick because it's the black interior. But I'll just try and stay on top of it at this point. So yeah, I kind of think I, I felt that I knew that the pandemic was coming and kind of made the choice to uh, get supplies before everyone else was desperate for them. Uh, you know, I, I followed it from China to South Korea, and as soon as I kind of seen it going to Iran and Italy, I realized it was world spread at that point, and it was going to hit everyone. Um, so I just started hitting the grocery store every day and getting the things that I, you know, wanted to stock up on uh, well before anyone went into the hoarding situation, because um, it's still kind of like, I wouldn't say it's really hoarded in here anymore, but getting meat is still kind of an issue um, the shelves are still kind of cleared out of meat a lot of the time I mean I've had packages of chicken that I got on sale a long time ago that's been in the freezer so I've been in really good shape that way uh, the same with ground beef and just other things uh, but like the last time I was in there all the a lot of the frozen section still missing uh, all the french fries and um, the produce and fruit has really uh, gotten a lot better and I'm sure if I go in tomorrow morning there's going to be plenty of stuff to shop for it's just uh, I haven't needed to because I've gotten stocked up like a month ago um, but it's getting to that point where I'm going to need some fruit and vegetables again yeah it's been a what is this guy doing he's just waiting to see what happens or see this guy's like shit faced he has no idea what the fuck's going on. Bro, what the fuck are you doing? Get off the fucking road, you fucking idiot. <laughs> and I got one of my buddies just pulled in behind me. So we're probably gonna have to stop the video here for a bit and I'll have a little chat with him. I should actually bust out the camera and show you his truck because He's driving a Hilux. Okay, this is now like the third take because uh, the camera keeps on overheating. So I actually like, it was sitting in the in the window on the car and I guess the sun hitting it just overheated it, took the battery out, let it sit for a while. Seems to be good. Um, but yeah, kind of got finished yelling at that guy that was wandering across the street. And we've got a couple more guys like wandering around here and being, you know, being sick down there. Some homeless cats over here. But this is Tyler's uh, 90, 95 <laughs> 95 uh, 3 liter diesel Hilux surf um, he picked this up last year uh, so he's he hasn't done a whole lot to it yet but just kind of more maintenance stuff and uh, he's definitely had it down the trails quite a few times and uh, side dump exhaust maybe we'll get a little uh, ride in it sometime it's got the roof rack with all the lighting on it kind of a cool truck 
something I kind of wanted for a long time. But yeah, that's that. Back to the auto vlog. Okay, so now that's over with, that little meet up. Uh, we're just kind of finish up our drive here. I hope that camera battery lasts. It's actually plugged in on the uh, 12 volt power, but the battery's showing low and then the camera's overheating and stuff, so hopefully it doesn't uh, bail. So yeah, I guess if I continue on where I was kind of talking earlier, I've been quite well prepared for this pandemic. Uh, got all my stuff well before I actually needed it and uh, working less hours um, at work just because that's a decision I made back in November uh, has made me start making more meals at home and I r rarely eat out anymore. So I've been going to the grocery store a lot more often than I ever did usually before and it's kind of worked out my benefit because of this happening. So I don't know how I'm, everyone else is making out uh, but you know here in northern British Columbia, I think the last time I checked there was like 16 known cases. Uh, so I mean for how big northern British Columbia is, that's not very many at all. And like I've mentioned the rain so many times, how much it actually rains here. That days like this, you're just not going to keep people inside. People are just, uh, they're going to do activities and likely they're going to do it with friends or family. Um, I'm sure if we go, if you go to the walking trail today, it's probably just, you know, social distance and can't really be practiced because there's just going to be so many people out there. So all I'm really doing right now is we're driving down the highway. I want to get to uh, kind of a viewpoint set up, take a few more pictures of the car, and that way you guys can uh, get a really good idea of what the rims look on look like on the car. And I'll may I'll probably do the same posting on Instagram this weekend. Uh, but yeah, that's all that we're really going to do. I'll probably finish up with the photos and I'll show you a couple others and then uh, we'll head back and I've got something else to show you with the head unit that will only take me a couple minutes. Okay, so here it is a uh, couple hours later and I ended up transferring a bunch of the footage that I already had onto the, my computer and realized that the front camera didn't get anything. Uh, so that sucks because uh, that, that drunk that was standing in the middle of the road trying to like direct traffic, he was like had his arms in the, waving in the air and stuff. Anyways, this is what the uh, rims look like on the car and video. I know you guys already saw the pics, but I'll just do the quick walk around and then uh, kind of want to show you the little thing that I did with the head unit. So it was just a few weeks back, uh, the tripod that I have was sitting on top of my tool cart and I knocked the tool cart, the tripod went over, broke the top off of it and that kind of ended that tripod. Uh, so I had an old tripod and I was using that even though it's kind of like hacked together and well I dropped it just a few days ago and it shattered the end of it so it's done so I've got to get a new tripod I'm actually using like a selfie stick that I have uh, so not really the easiest thing to actually set up for capturing shots but uh, I'm gonna stuff the arm of the selfie stick down in between the seat and this in the the center console so you can kind of see what's going on hopefully um, but yeah let me try and get that figured out first okay so I've got the camera kind of situated there is some reflection back here but there's not a lot I can do it's just the amount of light that's still out uh, I mean even I can see some of the reflection off of it and it's gonna work better in a dark situation uh, but yeah, this is the head unit. Uh, I do have a video up of the installation of this guy. Uh, haven't had the time to do a lot of playing with it yet. 
Uh, but I did figure out one thing that I thought was pretty cool and I'd like to share with you. Um, but if we go to apps, so the, the unit actually has two USB uh, cables that kind of come down that allow you to put the, your, your media into. Uh, now on this other one, I've actually got tethered in there uh, something that will make use of this app if you've ever seen it before. So yes, I'm going to uh, start up an app called SNES 9X, which plays uh, NES ROMs, Super Nintendo ROMs. Uh, this may not be entertaining to many of you, but uh, basically I've I've got a collection of I think almost you know maybe five six hundred games. Uh, so we'll just kind of go into one and and see how it actually plays. There's like Final Fantasy 2. All the sound comes right up on the uh, stereo system, which is really nice. Let's try something different, something I'll jump right into, something with action. Uh, your final fight. So, with the actual controller, uh, so this is an 8 bit o gamepad. Uh, it's supposed to play wirelessly from like an NES Classic. Uh, but you can uh, get these in Bluetooth, which I probably will end up getting a Bluetooth one. But I've got, just basically got the cable plugged right into the uh, head unit. And you can just go right in and start a game. The playability is amazing. It's just uh, like playing an emulation on anything else. Uh, I get the buttons wrong here. Anyways, yeah, I mean, you get the idea, obviously. This is a pretty cool game, though. I mean, I've just got a pile of games on here. So, I mean, this is more like, you you know, you got to wait for someone 15, 20 minutes. You get just sitting in your car. You don't feel like whipping out your phone and staring at Instagram for 15 minutes. Then you can kind of do something interactive. Uh, so, I don't know. Uh, another good one that a lot of people remember is uh, Mario Kart. And I'm pretty sure if you uh, had like a Bluetooth controller um, and had it as hooked up with this one wired, then you could actually play two players. I don't see why not. see how you could kill the time. Especially if you're my age. <laughs> Anyways, you get the idea. So I've got, uh, I've got this one installed. I can go ahead and install the one for regular Nintendo games. I've got all the Nintendo ROMs already on this stick. Uh, I've already piled a bunch of music onto this stick, so a bunch of stuff can actually be transferred to the head unit because it does have a bunch of memory in it. Uh, so I'll probably do some of that. You can see I've also gone ahead and installed uh, Plague, which, uh, yeah, I was infecting China from here. I don't know if you've ever seen that game, but uh, we'll do. A, I guess we'll do a quick, pre quick preview of that. So Plague Inc. is a game where you uh, basically create a virus, infect a country, and then have it infect other countries to the point that 
man is uh, basically destroyed. and jump into it quickly here. I mean, what else would we call it? The response time from the head unit is really quick, so uh, it doesn't load all apps and it doesn't play all apps. Um, it just restricts because it doesn't actually have portrait mode, which prevents a lot of apps from being installed but if you can get the app on there um, this thing runs very quickly so here's China or bang and basically it kind of uh, starts to infect China slowly and you increase the disease and mutate it so that it ends up infecting more and more people and then it spreads by air and boat until it basically infects the entire world and your death count starts to climb. Basically what's going on in the world right now. So I still a few things to play with, but uh, for now, uh, it's been great. I, I mean, uh, I would definitely recommend getting one if, if it's something that you're really wanting this big on your dash, I guess. But yeah, I know this video is quite a bit different and I really wish I did get that front footage. That was some really funny stuff. Me and my buddy had a really good laugh at, at, at that guy. Um, he was just completely out of it. And a lot of people on a day like this, I mean, I don't know how they're getting away with it, but they do. But if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here and you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Leave your questions and comments further down below. And I'll see you in the next one.